what's happening guys, it's Grizzno here, back again with another nice little tip for Payday 2. Let me ask you something, do you want to get a lot of XP in a short amount of time? Of course you do! So I'm going to show you how to get a lot of XP by basically cheesing the entire rats mission solo. Um, what do I mean by cheesing? I mean basically doing nothing and get the, getting the hell out of the level as soon as possible. So how do you do this? Well, let me show you. In day one, all you want to do is get in the house and upstairs as fast as possible. This is so uh, Bane's dialogue about having to cook the meth ourselves gets triggered. After that, you just want to run down to the bathroom here and grab two different chemicals. Doesn't matter which two you grab, as long as you have... Well, it's so you know you have at least one wrong one. And basically, we're going to blow up the lab as soon as we can add the first ingredient. One thing I want to mention is you should probably try to do these on hard or very hard and avoid overkill. Just because on overkill they send two dozers, tasers, and a bunch of shields right away and it's kind of tough to handle on your own. If you're in a group you can definitely do it, but by myself I found it was just a little too much to handle. And if you're dying all the time then you're just wasting your time, right? So I found very hard and hard to be just a little bit easier but still giving you that good XP bonus. So, uh... Whatever Bane tells you to add, add any other chemical besides that one, the lab will blow up, and once the lab is blown up, hightail it out of there as fast as possible. Uh, you may go down on your way out like, like I did here, but uh, if you're not, your trusty AI buddy's first priority is always getting you up, and if they go down, fuck them! Just get the hell out of there! That's basically the goal here, so we're done, and we're on to day two. Just fantastic! Alright, day two. Now, I guess I should have mentioned you probably are going to have to do an escape mission after that now. They changed it after the most recent patch, but we'll cut out the escape mission because they're the same every time. Anyways, you don't have any math, so you can't do the trade, so you basically got to find the information, and it doesn't really matter if they burn it, um, you just want to find it so you can trigger the escape van to come. Now, I'm going to give these gangsters a little bit of credit because I'm wearing, like, the heaviest uh, body armor you can without having the special skill to get the highest, highest one. And I don't know what guns they're using, but they take you down really quick. And they're fast, so they they can be a little tough to target. But uh, I found using a lower-powered rifle and one that had, like, you know, more ammo and... Uh, faster fire rate was a little bit better for this mission once the cops come I mean if it takes you a long time to find the information then the cops can get pretty ridiculous and it kind of sucks having a lower powered gun like I run into two tasers in the, in the uh, alleyway here and you know they're they're tough sons of bitches they take a lot of hits but basically you just gotta try to shoot get, uh, go for those headshots excuse me and uh, you can take them down fairly easily. Now this is kind of funny. Uh, Hoxton is in custody, there's one guy following me and I'm just running. I see these guys come over the fence and I'm just like, I gotta make it! I go down just as I get into the box and we're done day two. Day three is by far the easiest part of this. I like to take a long range weapon because the cops are so heavily armored that uh, you really want to go for those headshots and um, just basically move up behind cover. You guys probably know how to do all this. The only real trick to this is once you get to the bus. So take out all the Mendozas on the bus and run up there and basically all I'm going to do is open one bag, grab the money and get the hell out of there. Let the bus explode because again I'm just trying to finish these as fast as possible. So. Uh, I'm not going for money, I'm not going for loot, I already have 3 million in my bank or whatever. So I just want the XP basically. And the bus is going to blow up and I'm just going to make my way back to the chopper with my money. And now this, I'm not sure if you need to put the coke in the circle and have the money on your back or if the money even counts if you have it on your back because I didn't wait for the chopper. I just got the hell out of there like I said. So let me know in the comments if that counts because I'm not sure. So at the end here we're going to see the totals and as I said before I'm not going to get that much money 
It's like, I mean, it took me 18 minutes to do this, so it's it's not too long. It's about, you know, the amount of uh, bank heist, let's say. Now, uh, that is the most important part. Look at all that XP. 40,000, especially at higher levels, that definitely helps a lot. So, anyways guys, my name is Grizzno. If the video helped you out at all, please leave a like rating and uh, leave me a comment. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you soon.